Hey, what's happening guys? It is Tuesday and we're gonna be going over some Daisy. That was a pretty lame intro, but anyways, yeah, it is Tuesday and we are gonna be going over some Daisy. And try to hype it up a little bit. I don't want people calling me depressed and shit like my normal videos. Anyways, it's story time. So as you can see here, I have a pretty sweet camo gear going on. I got an M4A1 with hollow sight on it. Sooner's got a DMR. And we got, you know, some cool shit, rangefinder, all that shebang. Anyways, how do we get this? We were up in the Northwest Airfield. Uh, we killed some people, we looted some barracks, and you know, whatever, we got our gear. So yesterday we were up there, uh, last night actually, my brother, Sooner, and myself, and you know, we, we got in the air traffic control tower, looted some stuff, and uh, there was nobody there, we just sat around seeing if somebody would show up, because you know, we saw a bunch of people do that, we figured, hey, it's got to be fun if they're all doing it, so uh, we did that, and you know, whatever. And while we were sitting up there, we got shot at by a sniper, which we had no idea where they came from. So we all took cover, we all went prone, and all of a sudden, we all got teleported, and we had no idea what the fuck was going on, so everyone was just like, log out, log out, and that's exactly what we did, because we had no idea what happened. Anyways, uh, my brother was a little bit slow on logging out, but yeah, I guess what he said is a hacker teleported everybody to the north corner of the map, the northwest corner, and it was pretty much a free-for-all. It was on this hill in the middle of nowhere, where nobody should ever be, and you know, he just teleported everywhere in there. But we all managed to log out, like I said, my brother's a little bit slower, he did live, but he saw what was going on. Uh, Sooner and I were like fucking cats, we, we just instantly logged out. So, we were up in the northwest, and we're like, dude, we gotta get to civilization, let's do it. Uh, so we started running down, and we were gonna head to the northwest airfield, which was, you know, southeast from where we were, or where we were, sorry, not where we were. And, uh, uh, we, we needed some food, so we saw a pig, and we went out around a tree to kill it, and we ended up seeing these tents. And we're like, oh shit, what the hell's going on here? This has got to be like one of these loot-like circles that we've heard about. And as you can see here, there's, there's just stuff everywhere in these tents. You know, AS-50s, fowls, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, dude, there's probably vehicles around here. So I went around that edge, and for whatever reason, as soon as I climbed up there, my guy like auto-ran into that little ditch, and I ended up dying for it. So anyways, I died, and then Sooner took the bike and rode it all the way down the Belota, gave me some food, some water, and a map, and said, you know, go ahead and drive it back up there. Grab whatever you can out of the tents, because, you know, there's an AS-50 in there or whatever. He grabbed whatever he could hold for me, you know, my map and stuff like that, but he couldn't hold everything. His, back wasn't, or his pack wasn't big enough. So I rode the bike back up, and what we were hoping for was that this guy was whoring everything here, in which he was, you know, it's it's just a weird spot, and this is what people are doing on servers. They're just taking whatever they can get, whether it's weapons, vehicles, you know, and just putting them all in one spot. And this was this guy's spot or whatever. Um, this was my my first time up there, and I actually got the car. Oh no, this clip is actually my second time up here. Sorry, the first time up here, I got up, grabbed the car, and took off with it. And then I started getting shot at. And then as as soon as I got like a little bit down the road. The server just went offline for whatever reason. It could have just been, you know, the server timing every six hours they reset and it was just, you know, bad luck. But part of me believes that the server admin, is, you know, is the guy responsible for, you know, holding all this stuff. So anyways, I ran back here figuring, you know, cars are going to be in the last safe spot. That's the last, last safe spot. So I took the car. As you can see here, I'm checking out the tents just to make sure there's nothing else in them. And I get away with the car. And the car is absolutely loaded with, you know, guns, food, uh, bandages, blood. It has everything in it, as you'll see in a second. Uh, so that's just a short story about what we did and how we got the car and everything. But my tip for anybody is, uh, if you're looking for a car, just look in weird spots. Look in the force where they shouldn't be, because people are just taking them and hiding them and then pinpointing them on their, their GPS or their compass, you know, whatever, their maps. And then they're going back. Uh, and for those of you that do have 12 vehicles and are hiding them in the corner of a map, uh, you're a douchebag and I hope you get hit by somebody such as myself in a car. Um, I understand having two or three of them, like this guy, this wasn't that bad, he has two, you know, two cars, well, a car, a bus, and a bike. It's not that bad. It still leaves up a lot of room for people to find stuff, but, you know, people that have 10 cars or whatever, there's no reason for that at all. Uh, so that's you know that's the end of the clip. Uh, I'll show you guys real quick where this where this was located, and then you guys can you know get an idea of where to look. But uh, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you guys listening to the story, all that fun stuff. I know this wasn't a oh my god funny video, but hopefully it's informative, and just you know general rant or whatever story of 
what's going on with Daisy. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all later.